Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video I'm going to be showing you if a locked up engine is going to be savable or just complete junk. Now the first thing I want to check is it locked up in only one direction. As you see I can't pull it but I want to see if I can spin it the other way. If I could turn it the other way that's a bad sign saying like a valve's broken or something. So we're going to Take off the recoil cover. And even if you can save an engine that's locked up, it's not going to be able to run like it used to for a long time. So, as you see, locked up. But I can go backwards. Matter of fact, I can go backwards infinitely. Did I just unlock it? I wonder what that was about. First things first, let's take a peek into the cylinder wall. So we're going to pull out the spark plug here, standard size, I'm going to need an extension, extension on, I'm curious now what freed it up if anything, was it truly locked up or was like the starter engaged and just um causing that issue because it does have electric start so it could have been a starter issue spark plug looks fine can i even see let's take a peek inside with the camera shall we okay so i got the camera here we're gonna be peeking inside this bad boy Now looking at it, we can see a lot of carbon build up, but I'm not quite seeing what was causing the lockup. So before I actually put the spark plug back in and see if we freed it up, let's check these valves just from the outside they're both going in and out that's a good sign okay let's put it all back together and try to pull it a few times just to see if it still runs and doesn't lock so i'm going to put the recoil back on but looking at these little fins here I think, actually, to be honest, one of these might be too long and might have been poking through or this got bent in somehow. So if I put these back on and it still locks up, this is our problem. Just take the recoil off. So let's put the recoil back on, shall we? Let's load you up here and let's just slap the up. Sorry about that. No cameraman. I can't afford one. And the wife is gone today. So let's put this back on and see if it's this. If so, I'll show you guys a workaround. I was kind of hoping it was something worse. And I hate to say that because I'm going to lose money if, it, if it's not fixable. But if it was something worse, I could have made a better video showing you guys whether or not it's savable. Because that was the whole point of this video to begin with. Was is it savable? No, and it's pulling fine. So, we put it to start here. And is this only propane? It has a fuel tank. A oh, natural gas? And LPG. Now, see, in my opinion, natural gas means, um, like what you see at your house. Maybe it's a tri fuel. We're gonna leave it on the natural gas. If they're talking about this kind of gas, I don't think I've never heard of gasoline called natural gas. No, it's a tri fuel. Okay. So, yeah, see gas right there. So we got it switched to gas. So right there, 
lights on. Um, say eco throttle. Okay, here's the start button. Okay, ready? Here we go. Now that sounds like no compression. Make sure the spark plug's on and try it again. Sound like no compression. Feels like no compression. So maybe something did break in there. Let's try the old starting fluid. Carburetor cleaner trick here. Maybe we'll have to dig into it more. Open it up. Let's go, baby. That's definitely no compression. Something is busted. So I'm gonna call the customer back and tell them I'm gonna look into it and then we're gonna get into it. I gotta do a lot of work to take that head off. So I think that's gonna be better spent for another video, but judging on it, if it's something simple, it's gonna be fixable. But if it was still seized up or only went one direction or has a broken valve, I mean, stay tuned for the next video guys because we're gonna dig it right into it. But as of right now, there's no compression. So that could mean a valve is stuck open, stuck shut. We're gonna jump into it, we're gonna clean it out. But I think we can save this engine. I think it's possible. But once, once I get into it, you know. But as of right now, speaking, most of the time when you see a seized engine, it's a 30% chance of savable, 70% chance you're gonna have to get a new generator. But good news is there's a lot of good parts still on it. Like I said, the carburetor is about 40 bucks. This is a Furman, so it's OEM. So you can probably get 30, 40 bucks for it. Valves, if they're not busted. I mean, uh, some of the other parts are still good. Depending on the head, the head would be good. The generator part is great. The muffler. So, I mean, the gas tank. It does have a lot of good parts if you ever have a seized engine. So salvage what you can throw away the broken stuff either flip it or keep it and make sure you buy another same exact brand so if you ever do need a part you got the parts thank you guys for watching subscribe stay tuned part two is coming